apart Now we're twisted and tangled in a telephone line Way past bed, I'm up at night and weary eyes Unwound and I'm sound asleep What's up guys and good morning. We are in a little bit of a pickle here. If you guys remember from our last episode, we uh, took down the shelter logic, we're preparing to build the garage, and without fail, every time we plan that there's not gonna be snow, there will absolutely, without a doubt, guaranteed be snow. Uh, there's only like two or three inches of snow, it should melt in the next day or two, so. Maybe we won't be working on the actual garage itself today. Maybe we'll be doing a lumber takeoff, I'm not sure. But this morning, we are getting ready to leave and we're going to meet some very special friends. Oh, where will you go, my dear, in the night? Cause I can't sleep a second in the light. Kind of crazy we really like our internet situation for the most part we have starlink and it's basically the only option for where we live um and normally the speeds are pretty good we've noticed that when it snows or is bad weather and also as the seasons start to change maybe the earth rotates a little bit and our signal has been drastically different than what we've become used to. So as you guys know, we hold a very strict schedule. Every Monday and every Friday, we release our videos at the exact same time and we edit them usually a day or two before. We upload them the day before. And usually, you know, it's it's good to go. We can upload in, you know, like an hour or two hours or something like that. Well, last night, Ali set it to upload and it was going really slow. We were kind of concerned, but we just went to bed hoping it would be uploaded by the time we woke up and uh, Allie woke up at five in the morning to uh, take care of Leo. She went downstairs, checked on the video, and it was only to 50%, and we started at like 11 p.m., so there was no way it was gonna be done by 7 p.m. our time, which is when we post, excuse me, by 7 a.m. <laughs> our time, which is when we normally post. And so, basically what I had to do at 5 a.m. is go downstairs, get the laptop, drive down to the valley where there's good internet, use the Wi-Fi there to upload the video, drive all the way back up here, on the way back up here, I got a speeding ticket for doing five over. Oh, so man. my morning has just been like outstanding. And then if you guys saw one of our most recent videos, it was when we went to Disney. So then at the very end of the video, we left a song in that's called like get your ears on or something and basically it's like when we're at Disney and they're having a big party and it's a copyrighted song by Disney that neither Ali nor I even thought about. So basically that video cannot be monetized which means Ali and I don't get paid for the work we did on that video and it was probably the most intense upload that we have ever had. <laughs> So we're uh, off to a rocky start this morning to say the least, but we're on our way to breakfast to go meet up with some really cool people. They haven't met Leo yet. We haven't seen them for quite some time and we're really excited. <laughs> He's wild at you. I know. So we're hanging out with Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. Brittany and Drew are very good friends that we haven't seen in over a year. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing that they're in their van and they're passing through Utah, so we're snagging them up while we can, trying to <laughs> spend a little bit of time together. That's right. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys for having us here yeah. today. Uh, so and good to see you again. The last time we saw you, you just had land, and now you have a house. And now you have a baby. I know. The transformation has happened so fast. Wow. Yeah. You guys have put in the work. Next year, though, no more baby. Okay. <laughs> We're going to cap it at one baby. Yeah. <laughs> you got a house. You heard yeah. her say it. <laughs>
Our friends Brittany and Drew, they're known as Mr. and Mrs. Adventure on YouTube and Instagram. They uh, are leaving breakfast with us and they're actually gonna come up and check out the house. They've never been up there. Last time we got together was like before we started the build. So it's gonna be really cool for them to come up and see the entire house that we built and see our property and all that stuff. It does uh, suck that it snowed uh, this morning, so the roads are gonna be muddy and gross, but they have a dually sprinter, so I think they can make it without any issue. Is it four-wheel drive? No, it's two-wheel drive, but so, the roads are like... Hopefully, probably. The roads aren't like they were in the winter, you know? It's like spring, the roads are good, but now they're just wet, because there's like a little bit of snow. In Not the like... words of Joel, hopefully, maybe, probably. We'll maybe, I don't know, probably, maybe. Yeah, who knows, maybe. Hopefully, probably, probably, probably we'll make it. Hopefully, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> it's pretty muddy up here today, especially because it snowed this morning. It's it's starting to melt, but um, it's like washboard, dirt, mud, a little bit of snow. I hope their van can make it, and I hope they're not too upset at us for getting their van super muddy this morning, because it's definitely not going to be as clean at the end of this drive as it is right now. <laughs> I think they're probably looking at these roads like, oh no, we're going to get stuck. <laughs> But if they get stuck, we'll help them. It's not like they're getting We don't stranded. have a winch on this truck yet. No, but I could I could just Push. pull them out. No, I could just pull them out anywhere. I have straps. Oh, I thought you so. meant like with your bare, bare hands. Well, I mean, I could do that too. <laughs> do these puffy biceps. Yeah, right. There are some big bumps that we just kind of take for granted because we know what they're like. We know what to expect. But if you've never driven on these roads, it's it's a little bit anxiety invoking, you know? And I can just feel their anxiety from the truck. Uh, but I want to tell them, like, guys, we're close. It's, it's only going to get better, I promise. That was the worst part. And we're not driving a house. We're just That's driving true. a car. It's like something we take for granted. When we were living in the van, it's like every time you hit a bump, your whole house is getting shaken yes. apart, you know? And, like, it's just a totally different experience than, like, driving a car or a truck through gnarly roads. <laughs> They're doing it! How much do you regret that? You're really ones. testing my driving skills there. I can feel the back like sliding around oh, a little no. bit. What we were blown away by is the fact that your snow markers are like... Like 10 mm, feet high. Isn't that crazy? Gosh. Oh, no. These guys did incredible. The roads are a little bit gnarly. It was a hard day to drive up here too with how muddy oh, and yeah. slippery it was. They made it up here. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't been since we've been in Mexico that we've been on this long of a dirt road. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it felt nice. Vamos a la playa. It's so cool to have you here finally. Oh, it's so it's cool awesome. to be here. Wow. It's, it's much good. bigger in real life. Yeah, really? <laughs> I've kind of struggled with the size of the couch and everything. What do you think? How does it feel in here? I mean, I think it's worth it. It's a hard space to, to design around, you know, because right. it's whoever built this house built it really <laughs> small. <laughs> what were they I know. <laughs> this is the real test. You fit. Uh, this true fit. <laughs> <laughs> that afternoon nap right there. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Good. Well, thank you guys. Drive safe. Good luck with your tires. Okay. Yeah. He's fixated on the GoPro. I finally taller than someone. Oh, you want to eat the camera? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Drive safe, Thank guys. You guys. Yeah, Bye. You guys. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Enjoy the snow. <laughs> Till next time. Till next time. See ya. Bye. Well, that was a lot of fun having some friends that we know from the road come and visit us and hang out and. Because of the snow, we're probably not going to get much work done today, but tomorrow we're going to be hitting the ground running and tonight we're going rock climbing. Should we take him rock climbing? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's take that. Where did, where'd you leave that? This is my life with Trent. Just rolls of thin mints spread around the couch. Oh. I need a road snack. <laughs> I didn't realize
realize it was my job to bring a road snack into the car, so we are down a roll of Thin Mints. Very, I'm mad. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. I know. We should have made sandwiches or something. Or cookies. cookies. Could have eaten some cookies. It would have been perfectly a perfect snack. Not for right a now. sustainable source of nutrition. That's not what we're worried about here. <laughs> yes, it is. More sustainable than what I'm eating right now, which is nothing. You have some gummies. <laughs> what is it? It's a toxic waste. I've never heard of this. Have you heard of this? No. Addie doesn't even know what it is. Okay, are you lying to me when you say it's not gonna be? <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Oh my yeah, god! That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really sour. It's like giving me a tongue cramp. Uh. <laughs> oh, mine's really yummy. Mine tastes like lemon pledge. <laughs> if you've Ew. ever heard of toxic waste before, let me know in the comments because I've never heard of this and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Not like Joel by like Candy anymore. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you. I think I made it. I was like, wait a minute. She just loves people. She's just so happy they're coming. We're having more friends come join us, and we are all ready to crush today. I'm really excited. It's going to be a big day. Go walk. Okay, sorry. So there's a couple different climbing gyms that we go to, and this one is Mill Creek. It's the Momentum Mill Creek location, and it's absolutely epic. There's tons and tons of boulder problems. Come on, Joel. Yeah. Sick. Proud, proud dad. It's crushing. Nice, Trent. Got it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we ran into our good friend Sean, who you guys all know. Hi. Um, and Joel and Sean are competing for who can climb the most problems without their feet at all. <laughs> Trent, let's get. Come on, Trent. See what? No pressure. Be one. All hands, no feet. There's no pressure, but if you're gonna let your son do it and you can't do it, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> It's just a big monkey bars. Nice, exactly yeah. Right four. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He just swings his legs around. He just <laughs> momentum's his way up the wall. I think oh, it's the it? coral pan. The pendulum. <laughs> the pendulum technique. <laughs> We had such an amazing time climbing tonight. Everybody crushed. I actually felt like it was a really good workout. I got a couple V3s. I'm really like feeling good about an upcoming climbing trip. We're gonna have some dinner. <sighs> Enjoy the evening. It's a beautiful evening down here in the valley and we'll pick you guys up in the morning. Oh my god. Yeah, it's Leo. All right, we're getting some work done today at the shop and uh, Leo is nice and safe and protected with his little earmuffs. And even though Bryce and Matt are not here working on the vans, Trent and Brandon are getting stuff done for the built-ins and for a trip that we are taking in a couple days over the weekend and Leo and I are ready to supervise. We're re-outfitting the Forerunner, we're putting the rooftop tent back on, we're putting the uh, Yeti in the back and all of the camping supplies. And also while we're here at the shop, we're trying to get our drawers for our built-in cabinets in our bedroom stained up and assembled so that hopefully in like maybe our next video, 
We can take them up home, get them mounted, and then actually have drawers in our cabinets. The real issue here is that obviously Matt and Bryce aren't here. Bryce is on his way in, but now Bryce has a bum knee, so he can't even help us anyways. You just but pulled your shirt apart like a like a superhero would. Shed some weight here so that this is a yeah. easier task. <laughs> All right, do your exercises. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blood flow. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Look ridiculous, but it's all these muscles that you use to hold this thing, so doing this kind of pumps them up. <laughs> it's like in the cartoons when they'd be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. biceps to get all big. I'm really excited for once we have the garage built, we're gonna have this really nice little pulley system oh, like where we can pull in under it and it'll clamp around like the claw, like those video games that come down and grab the toy. It'll just grab the roof nest and suck it up toward the ceiling. And these guys will never have to do this by themselves ever again. <laughs> moment. Breathe. Yeah. Olympic power clean. Huh. One, two, three. Science. make it look easy. How was that? That was a little rough. Not great. I've had better. Was it rough or was it roof? It was roof. <laughs> it was pretty roof. <laughs> Hello. The doctor said, he said your leg looks a little skinny. <laughs> 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 no, but no bruising, no, no sign of like blood and stuff. So he thinks I just strained it. So we took all the x-rays and things necessary for cool. today. Okay. And then Said, let's hold off on the MRI because they're pricey. So cool. they sign me up for some more PT to do for three weeks. And then if that doesn't improve, then I'll get the MRI. Bryce has been out there fishing and getting after it. And uh, with his freshly rebuilt ACL after his surgery, he thinks he might've strained his hamstring. So we were wondering, oh no, is he gonna need another surgery? But he's just gonna take it easy, continue to stretch and rest, build up his strength. I'm gonna listen to the doctor and not go fishing anymore. Oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work. Instead. We'll bring you an aquarium and you can fish here in the Thank shop. You. Make sure there's a big one in there for me. <laughs> we got one of those bass fisher like yeah. expo fishing tanks. Uh, you can cast into stereo first, please. <laughs> in the fish tank. This guy. Bryce wants to put a wall of sound. He wants to build like an entire <laughs> wall of speakers. Oh, like, nice. Absolutely not. <laughs> Perfect. So our little project of getting the Forerunner ready for our camping trip this weekend has basically been complete. We got the Goal Zero in the back with the fridge, the stove, like everything that goes in there for camping. We got the roof nest installed. It was a little bit more difficult with just Brandon and I putting it on, but we, we, we made it happen and I'm, I'm happy with it. So that project is basically done. Now I'm gonna come over here and uh, check on what Bryce is doing, getting the rest of the van figured out. So there's the actual countertop that's going in the van. It uh, is gonna get a new faucet and a new water filtration faucet in here. Then that's gonna get mounted. There's the new oven stove combo. It's actually, uh, it's actually looking really nice in here. He has a couple more touch-ups to do, get the countertop mounted, the faucets installed, the oven installed, and then basically I think it's just a shower mixer and like a couple little bits and bobs like the radiator grate. Other than that, it's basically done. So Pamela Vanderson's gonna be going to a new home pretty soon and that's really sad. It's the end of a chapter. Um, we do have all the memories and we have like all the videos of us traveling in it. So it's not like we're losing it. You know, we can always look back and remember what it was like and you know, what we had and things like that. But it is going to be a little bit sad to, to see it go. So hopefully we'll have another van someday and we can make more memories. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. So 
Moving on, we are uh, basically finishing up. Brandon's doing the last coat of stain on the inside of our drawers here. We've got five other drawers right here that have already been stained and sanded. These are the faces of our drawers over here. Those have already been stained. Once we get a second coat on everything, we're gonna put a couple more pocket holes in the bottom of the drawers and we're gonna get the faces mounted on the drawers. And I guess I'm not taking them home today because I didn't bring the truck. But in the next video, we'll be taking them home and getting them mounted into our, uh, our wardrobes up there. And that's gonna be really exciting because then we'll actually have drawers where we can put our clothes. We can get rid of the little like cheap hanging storage thing that we have and it'll free up some space in the uh, the bedroom and so now leo's gonna have his crib we're gonna have actual functioning dressers maybe we can get rid of leo's changing station and we can like kind of get our bedroom back because right now it feels like a construction zone and then after we get the drawers put in we can actually start building the doors get those painted and then we just have to build the center section i i knew when we started this project of doing the built-ins in the room that uh it was gonna take like a month or longer, so we're on par. Par for the course. Trent's mind is always on golf these days. And it's springtime. <laughs> the grass is green, the weather is beautiful. We should be playing golf, but we're working. So anyway, we're gonna chip away at these drawers for a little bit longer. We'll pick you guys up in a bit. These guys are getting a ton of work done and um, they're doing like some staining and stuff. It's actually all food grade safe, but it still smells. So I figured I'm gonna take Leo out of that area and get a couple other errands done that we have to do. Maybe pick up some lunch for the guys while I'm at it. I'm actually getting to a point here where I've got to start throwing away a lot of different pieces and parts that came out of Pamela 1.0. So there's like the table stand, the table that went in between the front seats that we actually didn't use that much. But then the whole old countertop, the old like oven stove combo, an old shelf. And this is like the slide out table that came out of the van. And it's like still in really good shape, but it wouldn't have matched the one that we replaced the countertop with. So we replaced that one and basically just made everything new but i think i'm gonna keep that and maybe try and do something with it just to just for a piece of memorabilia or as my wife would call hoarding or keeping junk but it's just something that i like to do because it, you know it's got memories attached to it so i'm gonna uh start loading up all the rest of this like old junky stuff putting it in the back of brandon's truck driving it to the dumpster and unloading it Past your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave. Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today. I uh, just set the camera up on Brandon's toolbox on the back of the truck and the wind blew and knocked it off and it fell from about eye level uh, onto the asphalt and as far as I can tell, it's not like severely damaged, but if the footage gets really crappy from here on out, that's why. And uh, also it broke the mic, so if you hear that little clicking noise, it's because the mic is broken, so. Allie's gonna kill me, and uh, I think Brandon is done staining all of our drawer boxes and everything. We just gotta put those together, finish loading up all the garbage into Brandon's truck, taking a trash trip, and then we'll just be waiting for Allie to get back. How's it coming in here? Oh, you notice doing stuff, the things. What are you finishing up? This old rig. <laughs> <laughs> like this old house, you remember that? Yeah. That was a cool show. Probably inspired me to be doing this today. So thank you. Whoever What's his name, me. this old house? I want to say Rob something. He seemed like a Rob. That's why I'm rather Robbie. Who is the this old house guy? No, but he was an inspiration. Oh. Hello. Allie to save the day. Are you hungry? Marcos. I got everybody but you lunch. I was going to say, that's just enough for me. There's a cat. Do you hear that? Yeah, look, it's trying to come in here. Tell it to go away. What? It could, it could help with mice and stuff, but we just, we're not trying to, not trying to let a cat habitate in here. It'll get in the vans and make them all cat hairy. 
Try it. No, do not entertain it. Go away. I'm sorry. You're gonna make it think it's okay to come in here and it's gonna get in the vans and. Okay, fine. It's cute. Logic. It's cute though. Pizza. Let's eat. crazy now that Pamela 2.0 has officially sold and left the building. There's a lot more space in here, so we're doing a little bit of rearranging to uh, just kind of get things a little bit cleaned up, I guess, and ready for the next build. Trade Bryce for a 20 minute nap and you can paint. Yeah, I'm gonna tag Ooh, you. He <laughs> really <laughs> wants the GoPro today. It's not for you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bryce, your shirt almost matches the cabinets. <laughs> I just downstairs. Blend room. right in. This van comes with Bryce. Absolutely not. He's not staying here. <laughs> no way. You have to pay me more. <laughs> I'm pretty proud that we've got more done today than just the camera falling off of Brandon's truck and breaking the mic. We did get all of our boxes completely stained or all of our drawer boxes completely stained and all assembled. And those are basically ready to go up to our house. I didn't bring the truck today, so they're probably gonna stay here tonight. But in the next video, we'll be bringing those up to the house. We'll be mounting all the drawer slides on them, getting the drawer slides mounted in the cabinets and then using those drawers, which I'm really, really excited for. Also, we did get quite a bit of like cleaning up around the shop done and organizing and throwing stuff away. And it's really nice. Once Pamela Anderson is gone, we're basically just gonna have the sprinter in here. And this shop is, pretty much built for like three or four vans at a time. So we only have that one van. And I think after we're a little bit underway with that van, we're gonna bring in a second project and start doing two projects simultaneously. So really excited to ramp up production here. Maybe even bring in some, some help here in the future so that we can like really start to uh, amp up production because our wait list is actually getting pretty long. And at our current rate right now, People are gonna be waiting a while, so we need to get more people in here so that we can start pumping out more vans and you know chop down the wait list a lot sooner. So <sighs> today has been eventful. I think we're gonna do one or two more things around here, kind of moving things around and shifting things to make uh, the workspace a little bit more usable, and then we're gonna head home. Nope, 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 you're stopping. Don't stop walking. I'm stopping? Yep. I have a hard time leaving the shop. Yeah. I have a lot of fun here and my wife doesn't like it. <laughs> well, it's time to go. It's time to go. I can't stand here. I have to leave, so it's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Bye-bye, drive safe. See you later. All right, guys. Love you. See ya. Have a good, have good, a good one. So take this love and try to make it we are home now, we're showered. It has been a wonderful day and we almost forgot to sign off with you guys. It uh, was definitely one of those days where I came home and just immediately showered and put on my pajamas. <laughs> I am pooped. Yeah, We got a lot too. done. I'm really excited that we did get the drawers finished. Yeah. So hopefully soon we'll be able to put our clothes away. That's just like a big thing that's weighing heavy on me is our cluttered bedroom. And it's slowly becoming decluttered, but. Anyway, we had a great time today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.